How's it going, everybody? A hey, Toxic Ninja here, back today with some Hacker Simulator. So I just saw this game on the uh, basically Steam, and I thought, hey, you know, this looks pretty cool. Uh, I am a software engineer. I'm not sure if I can have this music. Not like it really matters, because my videos won't really be monetized anyway, so it's not for now. So I guess I'll leave it on. No biggie, really. Why does everyone have to do this kind of like hazily uh, getting up? I don't know. Hello? Game? Hey. Computer will be your main tool. During your hacker journey, you can interact with it by pressing F. You can basically see these in the help menu. But the cool thing is basically, ooh, that's kind of high. They can you, you use basically fairly realistic um, tools, like actual tools that, I mean, I've touched before. Like I had a computer summer camp thing I went to once just for the hell of it and I had nothing else to do. And uh, I actually learned how to crack Wi-Fi. And so like they use actual kind of tools like that. A little wobble. Yeah, there's a little wobble. Okay, first, can I get rid of motion blur? No. I wish I wish there was more con I wish there was more settings. That that's one thing. I hate motion blur. Um it's a little bit of a weird wobble. Can I go outside? Not yet, no. Uh that's probably the mining rig. Can't go in there. Pretty nice outside. Parking. TV. On who puts their food crap there? It would be like here. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I thought this would be pretty cool. Uh, actually, I, I think I did turn the music down. Yeah, turn it up. Yeah, that's actually still freaking loud. Down a little bit more. Yeah, I just want it like barely there. And then I need to check real quickly that my audio up correctly um yeah okay i should be good uh f override how long have you been sleeping i've been trying to call you for at least two hours anyway, that's not how discord go. works but okay all right the first thing you're going to need is a new wi-fi network and to get one you will need to crack I will call you back when you're done. Was I good? Okay, well, you know, I if this is like, I'm assuming this is supposed to be like Kali Linux, if I remember correctly. That was the operating system. I, you can't resize Windows. Then that, that's. So I know it was the game was made by one person, and so it's pretty amazing for that. Um, the downside I do know is that you know you can't. There's no like tab completion of commands, which you have in normal like Windows and Linux and whatnot. And also there is um, there's just some limitations that aren't very cool, I guess that like normal command prompts have. So, but you know, oh well. Oh, ha, instead of just regular tour, it's tour. The O O R. Ha ha. Um, X Store website. All the tools uh, you need on the back Store: Air Dump, Arrow Dump, Airplay, and up. To, oh, you can increase the level of it. Interesting. Attack higher encryption. WPA. It's not that easy though. Oh, also, yeah, no liability. Um, the game itself has a disclaimer for this. I'm, I, I'm gonna say it too. You know, just you know, anything you see here, if you if you'd use that for nefarious purposes, you know, it's not one to one exactly, but if you know you use this information incorrectly, I'm not liable. The game's not liable. Uh, three tools are required in order to crack Arrow Dump. Basically, gets the SSID, AirPlay. The authentication and aircraft. And then basically I uh, don't be on a network too long because he'll get caught. Okay. I okay. Terminal. Yeah, 
I really want to be able to resize. Um, ask me for password and one dollar per hour. Which one am I? Am I I'm on ask me for password. So one dollar for at least I can copy and paste. Uh, I don't know what the E is for, but. Or de -authent basically this process, if I remember correctly, it's basically spamming that network um, with deauth kind of packets and stuff that will make uh, a, a correctly authenticated device get kicked off for a moment. So then it, when it retries, when it tries to reconnect, it has that handshake with the um, the router, you know, the the wireless network, and we're capturing that handshake. I don't know if this is exactly, you know, it goes into a file like this, but you essentially use that. And then normally you would have like a five gigabyte text file full of known passwords or something like that. And um, it would basically test against those. Well, if it's a if it's a WEP, I think it can guess the password. If it's a WPA. Two, I think you it has to be on that list of known passwords for it to work. Um, I, I think I, I it's been many years since I even looked at how to do this, and of course it was just educational and not like actually going out and hacking people's Wi-Fi's. I hacked my own just because I could and it was fun, but you know, never any illegal activity because of course that's illegal. So don't do that. Yeah, see, right now, here, I would be hitting tab, which, of course, isn't working, and it would autofill that name. So we have to end type all this. This isn't really realistic from what actually happens. You just basically get blank. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Maybe they updated it since I last touched it, like, five, ten years ago. But, hey, at least these people were smart and used a... a fairly random key, but I am going to note this down so I don't have to redo this later. That's why I kept the notepad open. So I do not have to re I almost um, what it feels it. like to hack your first neighbor. Now that you're connected to a new Wi-Fi network, your traces are gone. Keep in mind that regularly switching Wi-Fi networks will be very important through your hacker journey. That is so freaking quiet. The, Wi network, the bigger the chances are for you to get arrested by the police. Note that the Wi-Fi network will kind of forget you when disconnecting from it. I have a first contract in mind for you. So go buy yourself some tools on the backstore website. Do I have money? I don't think I have money. Buy the Nmap tool? So, th th basically that was the extent of my hacking now. <laughs> I don't know what some of this other stuff this is. World, your super RGB computer will not be enough. My super RGB that's really. Why I bought you a server. Yeah, that's right. I actually own, own my server. own server. Each Fun fact. Each contract can be different, so you'll need to make some space on your computer before you do anything. I'm not doing anything legal with it. Trust For me. Now, I just run games. Go transfer to your server the tools that you bought during our previous call. Okay, um, now what? At least, like, game. Hey, that at least works. I'm, I'm on one system in CLS, and then others, it's actually clear. Open the server Zilla <laughs> instead of FileZilla. I, I love that, though. Computer storage space is limited. Yeah, not really. Not that limited, though. That's the that's one other thing I heard about this one is you have a like abysmally small like hard drive or something where you can only store literally a couple files where you would be able to store so much more. You can use your serverzilla anytime to transfer files to your personal server. How long is that going to take? Transfer your server the following tools. Aircrack. It's going to be under tool. Yeah. I can't. Mm. Okay, yeah. Just ease of use things. You would be able to multi-select, drag, 
Am I not gonna put end crack end map on there? Now that you're geared up, it's time to honor your first contract. I mean, I don't have the contract. You, you have the contract. The IP address. Ziscord. <laughs> Followed by the name of the file that you need to steal for me. Yeah, Ziscord probably isn't too secure when you know doing that. So I'll put that on there too, because why? Not? Contract, text, exploit, handshake. Yeah, that's... Mm, I'll put that down there for now. Ziscord. Kind of funny. All communication is done through Ziscord. Yeah, no, you would not normally do that because Discord or Ziscord is not fully secure like that. Like, you wouldn't... You don't want to send stuff like that. Like... Whatever. Okay, can you, like, not... Hide everything when you're doing these pop-ups. You will need to know its vulnerabilities. To that, you'll use the Nmap tool on the IP address of the network you want to scan. And I'm looking for an. Why would the fuck would you? Mm. Why would a file be named that? Um. I'm guessing I'm just yeah. And the map IP address. That, what do you mean unknown command? Did that remove it from? My, ew! That removed it from here. Ew! Oops! Oh, I think they puts it in the right folder. That's not. Oh my god! Not exactly how it works, but whatever. I really want to resize these windows. I can live with it though. Okay, visit Kitty's DB website. That's super sketch. When a network exposes service to the internet, it also exposes its vulnerabilities. True, true, that is true. Exploits are developed in order to take advantage of these vulnerabilities, allowing various advantages such as remote access, for example. To exploit it, you need to know the service and the version of the targeted service in order to download the corresponding exploit. This is a little iffy, I guess. I don't know if, how realistic this is. I mean, I know there's definitely exploits and everything, but just a website where you have to have the exact thing and always download an exploit, that's not necessarily true, but whatever. I'm not a hacker. Um... Wait, download the exploit corresponding to the service and version displayed in the scan report. HTTP service will require HTTP overflow exploit, while the SMB service requires a SMB E terminal or ternal some ternal whatever one for SMB service with 1.1.0 unit yes okay well that's freaking self-explanatory um so it was SMB and it was version 134 you can check your inventory LS yes. <laughs> um what's that I should have I'm hitting tab to complete. Oh my god. Um, I just I can't change directory. You have to do everything from the very root. That's oh my god. Okay, okay. Exploit slash SMB E T R N A L one three four. I swear to God. Or can I just do it from here? Okay, I, okay, cool. I don't have to go into it, I guess. Once an exploit is used on a vulnerable service, you will be directly connected to the machine that hosts this service. To search the contents, you need to use ls command. Meter breeder should be able to go. Like I should be able to change directory. I'm gonna be most likely in documents or downloads. Of course I can't. Sort first. There we go. That's what he wants. And then get 
Yeah, okay, whatever. Get uh, document slash first contract. Okay. Yeah, you would really be using, I swear to God. This is why you would change directory. You don't have to type everything out and you would hit tab. I mean, I'm liking, you know, the, the, the hacking or whatever, but like just some of the literal already existing, not even like far-fetched, but regular system stuff that you can't do, like resizing a window, tab completion, changing directories. That is negative against the game, in my opinion. So far, my, my opinion is still very positive. You can download a file that's created on your computer and renamed to network IP address underscore file type. Why? Why? That seems stupid. Now what? Disconnect from the network. Disconnect. Really? And it... it it's Discord. But it's open and these windows apparently just go by whatever is actually on top and clicking on this doesn't bring it to the front. But this also is not how it works. You would you would have it list you'd have shit listed. Uh first contract. Yeah. At least I mean hacked your first network how does it feel i earned 6.93 shell coin things not some movie or video game fancy shit but don't get me wrong the network that you just hacked wasn't even secured true true i almost forgot i sent not you a really at least. down the street go pick it up and keep it in your apartment for me and don't ask any questions okay that's not sketch all my deliveries will be made in the alley yeah, hmm, that, that's, that's not sketch. Oh, I have to get up from my computer. I can't run. Oh, this doesn't look like I'm going to get shot, robbed, or shanked. Do, 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 do. No one saw me. Man, work out, apparently. Honestly, this apartment isn't bad. I mean, you are now ready to go on your own. Am I? I talked to a few people. They will send you a message soon to give you some work. Good luck, hacker man. Hacker man. During your investigations, you'll discover several types of text files. Their contents can be displayed using the cat command, and there are different types of contents. Address, phone number, social security number, um, driver's license ID. Why would people just randomly have all their information in a text file on their computers? Like, I guess? I understand it's a kind of simplified thing, but like what? Use your cat command to display files. Kind of, yeah, cat payment. Um, open the files, pop up in the help. Files are renamed to IP address underscore type dot text after downloading. And by type, you mean like the file. And you steal social security number, the IP. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's do this. How... We'll probably be switching to another network sooner or later, but it doesn't look like... Actually, if this is not secured whatsoever, then I wouldn't need to crack it. But it said it was WEP, so technically this should have a lock here. Unless that's just showing that, hey, I'm connected to this one. I don't know, whatever. Okay, I need an map. Let's see, they have SMB133, uh, SMB Eternal 133, IP address. Uh, 
um, a one one three. My bad. My bad. Okay, I need a uh, social security number. Three, okay, not in there. Okay, can I do like hell stash L? Nope, I can't, of course. Uh, why would they have the social security? The hell is it in their music folder? Hit play. I just do this. Probably not. Yeah. Um. I doubt it's in here, but I just wanted. Why would they? Mm. Well, okay. I I guess I can give them credit for that because you wouldn't just name your thing social security number dot text. You would at least try to hide it. So this isn't a horrible thing. I can I give I give them credit for that at least. It's a freaking text file with one line. It's like a single byte. That's, that's really not, but it, it's like less than a kilobyte. Why the heck would it take this long to download? Unless I'm like literally on the worst DSL connection ever. But I can have a perfectly fine call. Unlock, I don't know. Whatever. Get out of there. Um, one nine or no, sorry, it's one seven four. Why? It, so it's automatically renamed to Social Sec. I guess. Another Social Security number. I can do that. If I click here, it should automatically be. Hopefully I don't have to grind too much to level up with stuff. But, you know, we'll be here for this journey. So, one, two, four. What? Oh, I just put one, two, three. Yeah, I would definitely feel like I should be like changing networks by now. Uh, yeah, pictures, sound. Again, like. It wouldn't go 2.5% like per second. Well, okay, it's really going like 5% per second about, but still. When you complete all your contracts, you must wait for your customers to offer you new work. For this, you can head to the sofa and sleep and skip the day until you, but first I should that's a good start for a beginner. Can I, you know can I please type? Things, you need to know how to infect computers with malwares. Can you like let me fucking it's move my windows? Contracts. <laughs> Upload malware. During this type of contract, the client transfers his malware directly to your server so that you can transfer it to your computer. Well, that sounds safe for me too. Once you're connected to the target network, all you have to do is use the upload command. Okay, well let me freaking disconnect. Oh, it automatically disconnected me. Okay. Um. Yeah, I should really be switching networks by now. Oh well. Now I need to, you know, I'll go ahead and close most of these windows. Because I need to just sleep, I guess, for the rest of the day.
Upload two malwares. I have whole nineteen dollars to my name. Well, it's like well, that's a lot of job offers. Bunch it your server for. Me. So that means what is this going to be under? Okay, let's. This is Blinker's malware. Yeah, let's just download their malware directly to my computer. Let's get perplexed. Pontoon, Pratfall. Let's just put all their malware on my computer. Um. Okay. So, and map 109.4971242. SMB149. Oh, they have the most late. Oh, that's good. Not enough space. Wow. See, like, I. That's like barely anything. S M B E T E R N A L 149. Upload. Folder slash, oh, so I have to go malware slash, this is what, blinkers? Blinker malware to somewhere. Don't forget to validate those contracts by signing an answer to customers by clicking on the type X. Why do I have to put it in a certain folder? Do I have to put it in the disease folder? You know what? I'm going to put it in their pictures. Because who the hell puts a malware into a disease folder? That's not screaming malware or anything. Okay. Oh, so it just deletes it off my system. Okay. Whatever. What? You mean sending an answer? What? Oh, complete. Sure, whatever. Let's go to pontoon now. Um, yeah. Apparently it's just automatically disconnecting me. HTTP one two two. Oh, uh, right. Let's put this one in their document. Upload on Toon. Oh, sorry. Malware slash on Toon underscore malware. Because you would name your malware your name underscore malware. So everybody knows it's malware and who it came from. Uh, I said I was going to put it in their documents. <clears throat> Yeah, I literally have the smallest frickin' hard drive ever. And I have like three programs. Five files or so. Luckily for us, everyone has a Fishbook account these days. People use it to show off their lives. And we're going to use it to infiltrate them. That's called phishing. I've added a phishing category to Backstore for you. What? 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 Why, phishing is just literally somebody sending emails and stuff and trying to get information. I don't really need software for it, but okay. Sometimes customers won't give you an IP address, but a name. And to get at them, you'll have to use a different method. Phishing. To do this, you'll have to follow the following steps. 
Run the netcat tool in a terminal. Find the target profile in the fishbook website. What did I need the netcat tool for? Read his interests and find his weakness, the category in which he has the most. Buy an account corresponding to his weakness on the backstore web. That's where that's coming in. Okay, log in with a purchase account directly on Fishbook. Send a phishing message to the target. Wait for Netcat tool to connect to the target. Purchase accounts are for one-time use only. Okay. I mean, that, that, that doesn't make sense. You wouldn't want to reuse accounts. Uh... That's supposed to be, my, like, my heat meter. Probably. That's not what I wanted. Hi, I really need your help. You have to upload my malware at this... What? what? <laughs> okay. Um... Come on. Oh, my bad get through these and then I have to sleep for the day again delete all my uh, all the downloaded things HTTP 142 if I'm clicking here it should bring the window up and cursor HTTP overflow 142 I'm gonna put the names of the things here um oh that's not what i wanted but upload um malware this is pratt all underscore malware into downloads this time there's http overflow xxx there's snb smb E something. B E kernel XXX. Let's just so I don't have to try and find the names of the stuff again. Yeah, I need to get off this network. N five four one four one one seven two six three HTTP one oh six. And the only reason I keep being able to download these after it says no more space is because after I upload their malware, it deletes it from my computer, so really? Also, about that there's, well, I know I wouldn't want to do an alt tab because that would alt tab me out and alt tabbing in the game. Um, what was it? It was 1 106. Hey, Saragi Excuse me. Sorry. I was yawning. Um, 154 141 HTTP overflow. What? What do you mean? HTTP overflow. A part of this is an unknown command. I have... Oh, I accidentally downloaded the SMB terminal. Okay, okay, understandable. How do I delete these? Oh, I don't. I just move them here. One at a time. Does screw multi-selection. Because apparently you need a server just to store a couple megabytes worth of data. God, if I already have the cursor and I click here, don't get rid of it. Um, I'll just put in pictures. Upload malware. 
much perplexed. Okay, now we can disconnect. Let's go. Yes, perplex. We are done. Okay, I will leave it here for today. So, thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.